Hi guys, welcome back to Four Strong and Growing. My name is Alexa and today I am 38 weeks pregnant with my third baby. So I wanna go over all of my symptoms from week 37. And it was a very eventful week, let me tell you. So I'm excited to just get into these symptoms. No big intro today, let's just get into it. I write down a symptom every time I have one. So let's just start from the top. On Halloween at like 7.30, I got a Charlie horse in my left foot because I stupidly walked over a mile trick-or-treating with my kids. I thought I was gonna be fine. And this is like Alexa syndrome. I always think everything's going to be easier than it's going to be and everything's just gonna be fine. I'm like very happy-go-lucky in that sort of way. And I figured that I could always just go back home and get the car if I started to feel tired trick-or-treating but the problem was that the Charlie horse hit me out of nowhere I was feeling great and then all of a sudden I could not walk and was in severe pain Matt had to run home and get the car I'm sorry Matt he came to my rescue and trick-or-treating got cut just a little bit short because of my incident but my next bullet point is that my mucus plug fell out that night and that might be due to all the walking that I did so the mucus plug in case you don't know basically just plugs up the cervix. The cervix is the opening to the uterus. It's the structure between the uterus and the vagina. And in the very beginning stages of pregnancy, you create a lot more cervical mucus and it gets plugged up in the cervix and it serves as kind of a barrier to protect the baby from infection getting into the uterus. Of course, the baby is also in the amniotic sac, so it's like a second form of defense. And then when you get towards the end of your pregnancy and your cervix starts to dilate, that mucus plug falls out. And oftentimes you'll see it like wiping when you're going to the bathroom or some people don't notice it at all. It can come out in one piece. It can come out in little pieces. I did notice that a few days later more came out. I also just learned that the mucus plug replenishes itself so you can lose it multiple times. Losing your mucus plug is a soft sign of labor, but it's nothing that you have to rush to the hospital about. But I was getting really excited that I was heading closer to active labor. Then the next night at like two in the morning, I got woken up out of my sleep with actually a pretty painful contraction. I don't know if it was Braxton Hicks or what it was. I don't think it was because they're not supposed to be painful. So this was another sign to me that I was actually heading towards active labor because I was told that I was three and a half centimeters dilated at my last appointment and then my mucus plug fell out. So I thought maybe I had dilated even more. And then I was having contractions and they were actually feeling a little bit painful. But towards the end of the week, my contractions just just kind of went away and I haven't really felt any, not even the little Braxton Hicks for a while now, but that's not totally uncommon for early labor. You can kind of go back and forth between feeling like you're really progressing and then it all kind of just fizzles out. Eventually it will be time. So I'm trying to be patient and not really rush anything because she is safe and happy in here and getting stronger every single day. So I really shouldn't be rushing her to get out anytime soon, at least not with in the next couple weeks. So I also had a prenatal appointment today. They did all the normal things that they usually do. They took my weight, which was 131.2 pounds, I believe. They did my blood pressure, which was good. I can't remember exactly what it was, 117 over something. I did a urine test to check for protein in my urine and glucose in my urine, and that came back fine. The doctor listened to the baby's heart rate with the fetal Doppler, and that was good. And then I also got a cervical exam again to see if I was dilated anymore, but I'm still at three and a half centimeters dilated. Oh, and my doctor also told me that my GBS test came back negative. So that's really good. I don't have to worry about taking antibiotics before she's born. So the conclusion of that appointment is just that I am on labor watch officially. And if I start to feel anything, just go to the hospital. Don't even call them, just, just go. My last two labors were pretty quick and this is my third baby and they tend to go faster each time. So he said, if I just start to feel anything, get my butt to the hospital. So that's the plan and I'm super excited. She's gonna be here any day now, it's crazy. So I wanna say that I will see you guys next week for my 38 week update, but I don't know if I will. There might just be a labor and delivery video. So we will see. As far as my plans, 
for labor and delivery go. I want to have a unmedicated vaginal birth. I am not against epidurals, but I've never had one before. I just never got to the point where I really felt like I needed it. But I do know that every pregnancy is different. Every delivery is different. And if I feel like I want an epidural, I'm gonna get an epidural. And if I don't feel like I need it, then I won't. I do kind of err on the side of less medication is better, less intervention is better. So I'll try to go as long as I can without getting one. Yeah, I guess that's pretty much it. So that was my crazy 37 week update for you guys. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next one. Bye.